Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube and Opera channel an LLB Society I'm Dr. Hariri, the creator of LLB Society and I'm here to teach you some vocabulary in English uh, in reference to relationship, marriage, marriage proposal, engagement period and uh, even divorce and any technical term or let's say some technical terms about the concept of relationship uh, okay establishing relationship English vocabulary for IELTS and TOEFL uh, all right so what is a relationship all right human beings are social there are so many flashcards and also you can practice and learn so many points about pronunciation reading comprehension even grammar and uh, so on social creatures and most of us yearn yearn means have a strong desire yearn so it means to desire strongly the noun is yearning Generally, it collocates with for, say, to yearn for somebody or something. For a close relationship, remember, close, it has a C sound, not Z sound. Whatever it means, near, next, close. For example, close relationship. It means intimate. With other people. Relationships require, means need, as you can see. A lot of, so much, work and a lot of communication. But it can still be hard to understand what the other person is thinking. This article can help you figure out means understand figure out figure out where you stand in a romantic relationship with another person where is your position where is your situation it can also help you understand the types of relationship as well as means in addition to as well as means in addition to uh, help help you know the signs of a healthy relationship you know if you just click on uh, these hyperlinks you will see more examples of the uh, technical term or keywords of any kind just refer to my website at lelb.net and you will have access to all of these resources and materials what is rapport Pay attention, the T is not pronounced. The last letter T is not pronounced. So don't say rapport. Okay. Rapport is a close, not close, and harmonious relationship in which the people or groups concerned means involved. So con concerned here. means involved or in sync in sync means in agreement harmonious with each other each other understand each other's feelings and ideas and communicate smoothly means without difficulty it's a, a good collocation for you to know there are a number of another collocation techniques that are supposed to be beneficial means profitable you see this uh, set of tools is really beneficial means useful in building rapport another collocation such as means for example matching your body language body language refers to the use of nonverbal communication tools or techniques without using speech or without speaking in order to communicate with others i.e. for example posture gesture 
etc. etc. means and others. Pay attention for etc. and ie you need to add that uh, final dot. Do not omit that. So it's wrong to say etc. to write. It must be etc. and also ie. These are some typical errors. And what's the difference between posture and gesture? So the first one, posture, has no movement in it. For example, in English we say you strike a pose because pose and posture have the same root. Uh, so it has nothing, it, it does not have any movement, but gesture or gesticulation does have some movement in it. For example, when you, ge when you gesticulate or uh, just uh, show some gestures to signal somebody to come to you uh, at a distance. So, you, for example, you move your fingers, so it does have some sort of movement. Okay. Uh, indicating alertiveness or consciousness uh, I'm sorry attentiveness attentiveness means being attentive conscious through maintaining eye contact okay uh, they in this video you see that this in this photo you see that these two gentlemen uh, are having eye contact with each other okay and uh, okay, and matching breathing rhythm. Okay, in conversation, some verbal behaviors associated means connected with increased rapport or the use of positivity. Pay attention to the pronunciation of use. This is use as a noun, and this is use as a verb. Okay, so uh, the use of positivity, uh, positive face management or face validity, sharing personal information of gradually uh, increasing intimacy. Intimacy means closeness. Or you can say solidarity. All right. Self disclosure. It means uh, disclosing or showing some of your sec uh, secrets to your friends as a sign of intimacy and by referring to shared interests and experiences. Rapport has been shown to have benefits for psychotherapy. As you can see in this photo, psychotherapy is a technique or uh, uh, healing procedure through, through which psychologists try to use, try to heal some uh, patients with mental disorders or illnesses with the help of some uh, psychological methods. No, no drugs or operations are used. So there is no drug or operation or medicine. And medicine negotiation means uh, argumentation and education among others and others among other things etc in each of these cases the rapport between members of a dyad dyad means uh, actually a duality duality it says uh, something consisting of, consisting of two parts or elements so dualism or duality two-sidedness yeah such as uh, for example a teacher and a student a doctor and a patient okay these are uh, samples of dyads allows the participants to coordinate their actions to collaborate with each other 
and establish a mutually beneficial working relationship mutually means reciprocally mutual means reciprocal two-sided mutually a working relationship or what is often called a working alliance for alliance you could say loyalty team spirit or even solidarity interpersonal relationships okay what is an interpersonal relationship and how is it different from intrapersonal relationship interpersonal versus intrapersonal relationship okay interpersonal relationship is a kind of relationship between two people so I communicate with you so it's a kind of interpersonal relationship but intrapersonal relationship is a kind of actual relationship that you communicate with yourself it is internal so interpersonal relationship is external intrapersonal relationship is internal relationship is a strong deep and close association or association association is better or acquaintance means familiarity familiarity the state of knowing somebody something between two or more people that may range in duration from brief to enduring means lasting this association may be based on inference means inference means conclusion inference uh, yeah the state of drawing a conclusion with the help of the evidence or love solidarity solidarity means team spirit as I explained solidarity regular business inter interactions or some other type of social commitment commitment you could say dedication okay interpersonal relationships uh, thrive for thrive you could say flourish uh, yeah getting better improve and okay. thrive through equitable equitable means fair okay or just as an adjective just here means based on justice and reciprocal as I said means mutual compromise so compromise here means agreement so reciprocal compromise means uh, mutual agreement okay they are formed in the context of a social cultural and other influences the context can vary don't say vary it's very as a verb means change alter so it's a typical mistake to say vary okay from family to kinship relations kinship uh, close friendship usually uh, among family members friendship uh, marriage relations with associ associates both pronunciations exist uh, both associate and associate 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 and it means colleagues co-workers okay work clubs neighborhoods and the like means and so on they may be regulated by law custom and mutual agreement as I said reciprocal compromise and are the basis of social groups and society as a whole means entirely in its entirety engagement period an engagement or betrothal betrothal you know uh, on LLB society if you just visit my website at LLB.net if you just click on any word this 
uh, the the website starts uh, just uh, reading out that part to you for example listen to this okay and also this one Engagement period. yeah so you can improve your pronunciation your actually uh, listening comprehension and so many other uh, points just visit my website and you will have all these benefits for example you can uh, click one word three times and the whole paragraph is selected an engagement betrothal or fiance is a promise to wed and also the period of time between a marriage proposal and a marriage and okay engagement. Engagement. i just wanted to show it to you uh, all right so an engagement betrothal or fiance is a promise or uh, some words that you just uh, say something you just uh, give somebody some promises and you need to just maintain or keep your words okay let me put this all right sorry for that yeah uh, promise to wed wed here means to marry it's a verb and the noun is wedding that's why we have wedding ceremony okay so uh, to wed and also the period of time so if you just click on that you will see more examples of period of time between a marriage proposal so what is a marriage proposal marriage proposal is the state of proposing to your lover for marriage and just uh, make that suggestion or make that proposal okay and marriage being engaged is not the same as dating so you know these are technical words you know dating uh, dating is the uh, the uh, process of going out I mean uh, of a boy and a girl they just uh, agree to go out in order to know each other more and to have fun uh, during it's clear means from point A to point B in time this period a couple is said to be betrothed that means engaged intended uh, intended a, f a fiance a fiance engaged to be married or simply engaged future brides and grooms pay attention future is an adjective here future brides and grooms may be called the betrothed a wife to be or a husband to be what is that structure a wife to be a husband to be it means a wife or a husband that will actually become wives and husbands uh, in future for example there is a pregnant woman okay a pregnant woman I'm sorry pregnant woman so this pregnant woman is due in one month so we can say that this pregnant woman is a mother to be it means that she's going to have a child and she's going to become a mother soon so okay fiance or fiance both pronunciation uh, actually the pronunciation is the same in both words but the meaning is almost different so remember fiance with two e's is a feminine let's say fiance okay it's feminine okay it refers to female a uh, female fiance and fiance with just one e is masculine it refers to a male fiance okay these are french words uh, okay respectively means in order in order the duration or length of a courtship courtship means engagement engagement 
varies don't say varies varies vastly means hugely uh, and is largely dependent another collocation on cultural norms or conditions or acquaintances or rules uh, let's say or etiquettes upon the agreement of the parties involved or concerned if you remember all right, in this uh, lesson I tried, I did my best to uh, teach you some technical terms about relationship, uh, different types of relationship, and uh, with the help of pronunciation, listening, and reading comprehension practice, and some grammar points, and I, I really hope that you enjoyed that. So uh, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Operat in order to see more uh, examples of these uh, English lessons for free and let me show you something an LLP society actually you will have access to all of these points and uh, also I have embedded my Instagram uh, page on my website and you can access all of them uh, above 1300 English flashcards and if you just click on these you will load some further flashcards and I encourage you to do so you know I have illustrated technical words and uh, actually difficult words so that it's it will be easier for you to remember them to understand and digest them and uh, yeah all right I, I really hope that you enjoyed this uh, English lesson thank you very much for your attention until the next time bye bye